there and welcome back to April's Homemade. I'm April. This is Sarah. And Mark. Bye. Oh, here's Mary. Bye. We are having our Saturday night dinner. We're gonna whip up some quick um, tostadas and we're gonna do a cleanup before we have our church day in the morning. So thank you for joining us and Stick around, we'll get right to it. Mom, that looks like um, tortilla chips. Mm. We are going to have dinner tonight at the bar so that we don't mess up our dining room since we're having, since we're gonna rush out to church in the morning. Here is a snapshot of all the spices I used for the taco meat and the tostadas. Quick tip, this is the best mashing tool to make guacamole. It is a mix and chop. Right here I've got my taco meat and some refried beans. This is how we have our quick Saturday night dinner. We've got our little tables out that we got from Ikea and the baby's sitting in her chair and the bigger kids sit at the bar. All right, we are getting started on our, af our after dinner cleanup. Here's our big mess that we've made. There's a little bit of a mess here. Mark, what do you think about this mess? Is it a big mess or a little mess? A big mess. A tiny, <laughs> tiny mess, but with no problem. Right. Okay. All right, so the boys are gonna get started in their room. All right, let's go take a look at your room. No. Let's go take a look at it. We like to have our house in good shape before the Sabbath day. Okay. So you got some stuff going on here. You know, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. These clothes need to get put away. Go ahead and open your curtains because it is not very motivating to work in the dark. Light, light helps us get energy, energized. Okay, cool. All right, so you guys get busy on it. And I'll check back with you. Okay. All right. So let's see how the girls are doing. Um. Hmm. I hear a voice. Oh. Oh, hello. You cleaning up in here? Okay. Isn't it incredible how quickly things can get out of hand in young children's rooms? All right, Mary, it's time to get busy cleaning up your room, babe. Um, Lisa, I'll be in there in a minute to help you, okay? Lisa and Sarah's room. Lauren likes to go around the tables and, you know, just eat or drink whatever anyone left behind. 
<laughs> Shannon's working on the kitchen. Okay, boys. Uh, we had a we had a bar dinner, so our dining room is in pretty good shape. So that's nice. And um, I need to take care of just a lot of packages and things over here by the front door. Okay. All right, they're working on the laundry, getting all their laundry put away. Good job, Mark. These boys are sorting the laundry so that we can have all the laundry done before Sunday. All right, I am coming in here to do some laundry for the evening just to help us not have a big, big, and pile of dirty clothes before Sunday. Sarah is gonna help me get these clothes into the basket. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm just gonna show you one of my finest achievements. All the laundry baskets are empty. My husband recently bought me these larger machines. We were doing about eight loads of laundry a day. Now it's three to five loads. I've noticed that a lot of people these days, especially Christians, are longing for a sort of little house on the prairie life, a life on the farm where the children spent their days alongside their parents and the family was really tight-knit and relied on each other. The children were much more hardworking and responsible. I think we all see a wholesomeness in the farm life, but we don't actually have to have a farm in order to achieve a tight-knit family with grateful children who care for their blessings alongside their parents. Your current home is your farm and you can teach your children whatever trade or skills that God has provided you. The Lord has given us all the same opportunities to raise grateful, respectful children, even if he has not called us to live on a farm. Uh-oh, what's she doing? Oh, good. Uh-oh, did you mix in? Uh-oh. <laughs> Which ones did she mix up? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. Okay. All right, so what's the report? We're done with our chores. Really? Okay. What's it like? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. All right. So, you want me to come take a look at your room? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, I need you to remove that mattress in your room. So, are we going to have to carry it? All right. So, just push, just push it. It's not that heavy.
Shannon did a great job getting the kitchen nice and clean for us. Brian tidied up the living room tonight. All right, you got it all in the pile. Now you're folding it up. Cool. Can you do a photo of me doing this? Yep. Sarah, you ready for bed? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, get your dirty clothes, Sarah. Take them to the dirty laundry. You trying to wear that stuff? Okay, how's it going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you're folding your stuff. Very good. I can make it into a bow again. <laughs> All right, Lauren's stealing those shorts. <laughs> All of our children fold and put away their own laundry as best they can, and it's not perfect, but they learn how to do it, and it is a blessing to me, and it's a blessing to them. Well, she wanted to do what you were doing. She didn't know. She just, it's all the same to her. <laughs> she thinks she's doing what y'all are doing, okay? <laughs> all right, good, Mary. You're making good progress. So you're folding that now? Wow, good, you've almost folded your whole pile. That's really good. Now you only add two more stuff. Two more stuff, huh? Yep. Okay. Oh, are you gonna sit in that chair? Yes! I'm gonna sit in that chair. I couldn't focus on me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but this, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I think you're gonna. Destroy that chair, yeah. Lauren. <laughs> well, isn't that frustrating? Ready? Uh oh. Okay, I think that chair is a little small for you. <laughs> Very nice. Good. Good, Mary. He's probably going to break it. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. 
sure everything's tidy for the Sabbath day tomorrow we're not gonna do any cleaning I am okay. all right you want some socks you want some socks okay, let me get some good ones Got her some socks. Again? Okay, we got the dresses picked out for Sunday morning. Oh, and we need to find, make sure we have your sandals, the white sandals, so that we're not looking for those in the morning because. <laughs> I feel like we lost the size nine sandals. We need, oh, oh no. need those. Well, you're supposed to wear a size 10 now. Okay. All right, are you gonna put these clothes in your boxes? Here's all these hangers. <laughs> hey, where where is Sarah's stroller? We need to put that in here. As we look forward to the Lord's Day, I want to leave you with this quote. The light of nature shows that there is a God who has lordship and sovereignty over all, is good and does good unto all, and is therefore to be feared, loved, praised, called upon, trusted in, and served with all the heart and with all the soul and with all the might. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you real soon. What else are you going to find? <laughs> wait, wait, that's all, folks. <laughs>